Coaches Show. I'm uh, Staff Associate Peter Houlihan here with the coach as always, Jody Smith, and we're going to discuss last week what happened and look ahead to this week's opponents as well as uh, some of the intriguing things that happened. Uh, we start with Howard on Sunday. It was a game that was uh, live streaming through SWAC.org on the SWAC Digital Network, so a lot of excitement already built into this matchup. Right. It was a, a rematch of last year's SWAC Championship, and as sure. we had said on last week's show, we were expecting a close one. And that's right. what we got here, another match that was decided by one goal. Teams have faced each other four times, and uh, all four times has been a one-goal result. We've right. fallen uh, short of that two-to-one. But, Coach, I wanted to talk about some of the positive things that uh, happened okay. with this match because the first goal that we had that when we take the lead was a pretty one, I'd say, probably one of the prettiest goals that yeah. we've had all season where uh, Lexi Krieger took it down the sideline made a nice cross pass, and Ima Martinez right. with the touch pass to Aaliyah Lewis, who finished and gave us a one nothing lead. What happened right. there? Well, we spent a lot of time in training, and we, we call that in training, framing the goal, getting the right run through the box. And something we've spent a lot of time on, and so it was really nice to see uh, us execute something deep in, a, in, a, in the attacking third, some things that we had worked on. Uh, the attacking player rounds the, in, rounds the end line, picks her head up and tries to find someone in the box, making a good run. And a lot of times, Someone may be in too early or hiding behind the defender, and this time we made the right runs, and uh, Lexi was able to find her in space, and she tucked away a really nice goal. Yeah, as far as looking at execution, that had to make you really happy. Oh, I was really pleased, because I, like I said, that is something we've spent a lot of good good portion of our training on, and uh, to see it kind of transpire in a game, those are things that coaches love to see. Mm -hmm. Ema's execution is really important there, because she has to get the timing just right. Once she receives that cross, you know you only have that little window of opportunity to start, right. right? Right. Well, you know, you know, due to uh, Ariella's injury, we, we played Ema farther up the field, closer to the goal, in a, in a, a target role position. Uh, and her, one of her strengths is vision. Uh, she was able to find it, pick her head up, and certainly find Aaliyah running in. And uh, it's, you know, score is nice. It was a nice finish. Big goal at the time because the teams went into halftime 0 0. It was really a good defensive battle that gave us the 1 0 lead. But Howard, as they have all season, they came back, answered uh, almost immediately. It was about four minutes later where they were able to knock the score. Where Jenna Geo, goalkeeper, came out, tried to right. rush up, make, stop them from progressing, and they were able to tie that one there. What happened on that play? Well, we had a little breakdown defensively. They were able to find a, a ball right between our defense. We worked on our center backs being one up, one giving cover and behind, and we got a little flat, found a good space coming in, and it's probably in that no man's land for a goalkeeper. Do I go? Do I not go? And maybe a little bit of hesitation, and uh, the girl tucked away over a nice goal. Yeah. So it was 1-1 one -one at that point. Really, anyone's game, both teams playing really well. I thought this had a really a playoff environment to it. Would you sure. agree with that, Coach? Oh, definitely. When we, when we get together, I mean, there's always seems like we, a lot to be on the line. Uh, we knew we were going to play it close to the best and play a good 90-minute game. And, uh, again, the competition level is very high. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 75th minute was where it was decided, though. Uh, Kayla Gray, player that uh, has really made a name in this conference as sure. a big-time player. She had the winner in the 70th minute on a type of breakaway goal there, right? Uh, was that miscommunication on their end or just lack of focus? What was the... Well, we had pushed up. We were attacking, obviously trying to get the the, the go ahead goal. We had pushed our defense up, and they uh, launched the ball out of the back on a counter attack ball. And it, you know, again, we kind of got flat defensively. Uh, kind of got over us, and you know, she was kind of through again. Uh, again, doing the things that we need to do. Maybe our shape defensively wasn't really good. It was a great counter attack goal, and she obviously finished a really nice goal. What did you see in this match that made you believe that this is a team that will be able to go and? fight for a championship, some of the positive takeaways? The biggest thing for me and our coaching staff were that uh, we played a nice brand of soccer. We really combined uh, through the midfield, a lot of good combinations play. We were able to keep possession really nicely, change the point of attack. Uh, ultimately, in the final third, we you know we had some chances and didn't, didn't tuck them away. Yes. And uh, But uh, our style of play, the things that we want to do offensively, we had it, had it uh, I was really pleased about it. We really valued the ball, and that's the biggest thing for me. I noticed that too. I thought our team did a better job of holding on to it and valuing the possession. And, and sometimes even kicking back just to make sure that we had possession and Howard did not. Correct. Uh, there were a couple late opportunities to get the equalizer. Even Martinez had a shot that went wide. That Correct. had a shot. She had a pretty good look at it. And Lexi Krieger also. So we did have right. our chances. This is not a game that 
Howard ran away with the oh, swing no, no. that could have right. easily gone either way, but we thought him as just a short end. Down the road, I think you're going to be able to come away with some you know, good experience from this match, right? If we can take the things that we did positively, and we, there was a lot of good in that game, mm-hmm. uh, and, and focus on those things put, moving forward, I'm really encouraged about where we're going to be. Yeah, I think the confidence level will be crucial going forward. Can we sure. keep it despite coming on the short end of six of these really close soccer matches? I think so. I mean, the, the team level high, they were, they were disappointed because they, they felt like we played well. We just made one or two mistakes and against a really nice team. And I think that uh, moving forward, if we can continue to execute, uh, and we've been playing, starting to find a little bit better each week. And, uh, and more importantly, ha- have our 11 out there. Yes. Uh, we're not missing key personnel. I mean, I really think that, uh, you know, at the end of the season, we'll be right in the mix again. Yeah, I think if you look at the schedule and the teams that we have played here, They've been at the top. I mean, you're looking at Texas Southern, who's having a nice season. You're looking right. at Howard. They're, they're another team toward the top. And then you look ahead to Friday, Arkansas Pine Bluff coming in. A team that has looked very strong in the early going. They're sure. 3-0-1 and on the season. Sure. Uh, a player I wanted to talk about on their side is, is uh, Re- uh, Rebecca Holmes, who is off to another strong start this year. She has four goals and an assist. Right. And had a goal and an assist when we played in Pine Bluff last Correct. year, a game that we lost 2-1. Uh, to one. So... What kind of challenges will a player like Rebecca Holmes face? You know, this? Well, she's the player that, uh, that, that seems to be carrying the load for them offensively. That's someone that we're going to have to be aware of, again, on the field. Uh, very similar to Keela Gray. Uh, and make sure that we account for her. Again, shape in the back is going to be very, very important. Uh, and then for us, offensively, do the things we need to do and finish our chances. But uh, it, she, she has definitely uh, been the offensive carrier for them. Yeah. Pine Bluff has a couple uh, sisters as well, just like we do, the Fenwicks, who have really started to make a name for themselves. They weren't well-known last season. Um, and I think as the year went on, people had to be more and more right. weary of them because they're a potent combo. They went for 17 combined goals last year. Exactly. And you have to account for those sisters, too. So it's kind of a sister-sister type thing. You know? Sure. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, Coach Hudson's doing a good job of really rallying that program. They've gotten stronger uh, from last year to this year. And we expect a, a really hard-fought game on Friday night. Should be a good one. Friday, 7 o'clock, ASU Soccer Complex, Arkansas Pine Bluff, playing some good soccer right now. And they're going to come in here. We're going to try to climb in the standings, get back exactly. in there. Uh, we're 1-2 and two thus far. But this should be an entertaining game, to say the least. Uh, two really uh, pretty closely matched type of teams. Right. Really, they can score. They have pretty good goalkeeping. So this should be interesting to watch. Yeah, last year, you know, we, we played it without uh, our twins, our sisters, and uh, – Played a very, very good game, but we certainly missed them on the attacking end of the field. And uh, I think this is a chance for us to kind of right the ship and hopefully get going in the right direction. Yeah. Um, you look at who we're facing on Sunday. It's Grambling State, a team that we've uh, handled pretty well. We've been able to come out with some wins. We beat them 1-0 to at their place last year. It was a goal from Kayla Edwards. Right. Uh, Morgan Elder with an assist there. I know sure. her position has changed Kayla Edwards. She's more of a defender, but uh, right. do you think she can get maybe play, play another big factor in this, in this matchup? Well, we, we hope so. Yeah, we, love, we love our Caleb moved to an outside back, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get her to the attack. If we do a good job holding on the ball, we can find our, our defenders coming forward and getting the attack more, and the more we can do that, the more successful we're going to be. Mm-hmm. Aaliyah Lewis, I mean, what can you say about her? She, keeps, she continues to you know, put up a big production line for our, for our team. She has sure. four goals, four assists now, and uh, what, what, what else can you say about her, what she's been able to do for us? This season? Well, for us, I mean, she, you know, especially Miss Ariel, the past couple games, she's been able to kind of toe the line for us a little bit and be that presence offensively. And uh, moving forward, we're going to need her to uh, obviously keep that momentum going, keeping that confidence, uh, you know, goal scoring, you know, when they get in the form, you like them to keep them going. And then, obviously, get Ariella back, but also get Lexi back in the score sheet uh, and get Ema going a little bit more again. And the more that those four or five players start combining together, the better we will be. Yeah, it should be interesting to see how uh, this weekend shapes up with uh, an interesting match with Pine Bluff and then Granville facing us, you know, very strong match either way. So both, right. both times last season, they were decided by a goal, but now they have to come here. So sure. home matches, always a little bit of an edge. Hopefully, we can get back in that win column. How do you, how do you see that? Uh, again, we're going to have to come play a complete game of 90 minutes. They're going to threaten us. Uh, it is on our own field. Uh, the second game of a conference weekend is always a challenge after playing the Friday night game. Who gets their legs back? Uh, who's fresher? All those sort of things. Uh, hopefully at home, that's a benefit for us. Playing on our field at the ASU Soccer Complex is certainly an advantage for us. So 
Uh, I'm looking forward to two tough games, games that uh, we should have some success in if we come out and do the things that we need to do. All right, that'll do it from here. Go Hornets. All right.